Hi everybody, Miss Judy here with today's Art Outside the Box. And I've got a project that I really enjoyed putting together and I hope you do too. I like working with a lot of different materials and I like the element of collage. So this project kind of has it all and it's very useful. It would make something nice for you to have for yourself or for a gift. So what I've done is I've put together a, um, I call this an art journal and I made a small one for an example, but you can put as many pages into this as you'd like. So this one has a travel theme because I enjoy traveling. And although I have not been to Chile, I had some interesting um, artwork, some old books that I found that had some pictures that I wanted to use. I wanted to make it kind of vintage looking. So there's the cover, the back is plain, although you could um, adorn that as well. And then inside, I've just, um, for my example, I just did a few pages and I wanted to make these look old. So I would use this either to put um, photographs in or I could take it along if I were going on a trip and make um, little journal notations of places I've been, things I've seen. So um, I think we should get started. It doesn't take a whole lot of materials. The first thing I did to begin the project was cut my paper and I used um, just regular copy machine paper for the inside pages and I cut these to five and a half inches across by eight inches tall. And then I have some cardstock and feel free to use any color you like, but I chose black so I'd have a neutral background and I cut this the same size. We are going to um, tear these a little bit to give them an aged look and make them a little bit smaller so they'll fit in the book. All right, so the first thing we'll do is um, we will age our paper. So choose how many sheets you want inside of your book and cut those to the, um, the proper dimensions. You don't have to follow what I did. You can go smaller, you can go bigger, whatever, um, whatever fits your mood. So I will um, turn my camera down, get ready, and we'll get to work. So this is a pretty simple technique, and I use this for a lot of different things when I want, um, when I want things to look old. And all I've got are two different tubes of paint. I've got a real dark brown, and then I've got a, a little bit lighter, more, um, I'm gonna call that like a caramely brown. So it takes very little. I've got two little dots on my paper plate, some water, and a sponge brush, although you could use a paper towel. And I wanna mix these together, but I want a lot of water in here. The amount that I have right now would probably do easily 12 pages. So get that pretty saturated and then you're just gonna brush it on your paper. It's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be neat. And your paper's gonna be a little bit wet and it'll probably start to curl. So we'll go like that and then I'm going to flip this over and do the other side. A little more water, a little more paint. And that's a little bit lighter than I want, so I'll just grab a little more paint here on my brush. There we go. Pretty simple. Now this will probably take a half an hour to dry, maybe less. You can set it outside but that's all finished. And I will just set that aside and then I'm gonna move on to a different step. So we'll put that over here. I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. I have these that I've already done, but I wanna go a little further with, um, with making these look old. So I'm going to tear the edges and there's a couple different ways you can do this. I think the easiest way is to take a ruler or some kind of a straight edge, lay it down and then just tear away. And you'll get a little bit of a, a rougher look there. And I'll do three sides. I'm not going to do the side that's gonna to attach to the cover. A little hard to grab. Once you put this acrylic paint on the paper, it really stiffens it up when it dries. 
we'll just tear that. Actually, I can probably just go right along the edge with my fingers here and get the same effect. And then we'll do one more side. And then you can continue on. I'm gonna put a little bit of paint on this white edge here just to soften that. There we go. And then just continue on with the other pages that you wanna to use to make your booklet with. Okay, here we go. I've got all of my paper aged. I'm gonna work with three sheets here, although you'd probably want to use more like six or 12 for your own book, but these are all set to go. My edges are torn, and then I'm going to work with my cover. So the first thing you wanna do is, as you can see here, I've got this scored a little bit. It gives it some give, so when you open the cover, it'll stay open for you. So I'm just going to measure in a half an inch. Do that with a pencil at the top half an inch at the bottom. And then I'm not gonna use a knife because this paper's pretty thin, but I'm just going to use a pen and follow that line and press down firmly to score that a couple of times. And then as you can see, that'll, that folds really easily. So do that on both of your covers. Half an inch in. half an inch here, and then a nice score. The next thing you'll want to do, but you may already have this in mind, is decide how you want to, um, what the theme of your book is going to be. So for this one, I decided to go with a music theme. Music's another thing I like. And I also happen to have some old sheet music in my basement. So I grabbed a, a sheet of this and I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, I think. And we've got some little, got some little flowers here, paper flowers. I've got a little doodad here that says friend. And this one says, looking back on all the memories. So this would be something I could give to a friend that enjoys music. You can pick these things up at garage sales, at craft stores. Oftentimes they'll have it on sale. Um, you can also, if you like a more modern look, go with things out of magazines. That's fun too. You'll be able to find a lot of, a lot of things that uh, would put together a nice book. So here is my cover. And I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna pretty much destroy it. I want to get it into some small pieces, some small random pieces. And I don't want any hard edges, so I'm going to tear it rather than cut. And we'll just see what we come up with here. I think that's going to look good right about there. It's the fun thing about collage is you can uh, use a variety of materials so to do what you want with it, and you'll get some neat effects. Make sure you get the glue right to the edge of your whatever it is you're gluing down so it doesn't peel up. And we'll put that right here. I think I'll take another little narrower piece, smaller. And I'm gonna lay that on the bottom kind of horizontally, but a little off center. And that's gonna have to be a little bit smaller, okay? So I kinda like this so far. Looks like a boot, but we're gonna add some <laughs> different items here to, uh, to offset that. I've got these three little flowers. So we'll put those on. And I'm gonna put those right here just to kinda break up the shape that I've got going. When you're grouping things such as this, it's always good to go with odd numbers. That's kind of a, a rule in the art world. Threes, fives, sevens. There we go. So I've got those pretty close together. And then I'm gonna take 
This is looking back on all the memories. It's just a little cardboard piece. I'm gonna put that here. And there's what I have so far. I kind of like how this looks. And I've also got some of these little stick on letters and these are sort of fun. So let's just add a couple of those. This is another thing you can get at your local craft store and they're pretty reasonable. And I'm going to spell out music. I'm not going to even worry about getting these ends straight. Oops, I picked up two there. We were very fortunate. We had one of our patrons donate a lot of this, um, a lot of these papers and scrapbooking materials to us to use in our crafts. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this just like this. It's simple, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is put this all together and we will be using, I'm gonna take my, first of all, take my front cover and my back cover and line these up as perfectly as I can get them. And I'm going to use this hole punch, punch two holes. Now I want to make sure my paper fits in here, so I'll take my cover, piece of my paper, line that up, and I'm just going to make myself a little mark right there, and punch on that mark. And then I'll do the same with each piece of paper, just to make sure everything lines up. And we've got one more to go. Looks like this one I forgot to tear. Take a little bit off or that's gonna overhang my edge. All right, that should be all set. Line up everything. Like I said, if you wanna go ahead and uh, embellish the back page, you can do that too. But here's how this is gonna look. My pages are gonna stick out a little bit, but that's okay. I sorta of like the rough look. If you don't, you can always trim those off. And I have some, this is elastic. I would prefer string, but I we didn't have any in the color that I wanted, which was black. So I can use this elastic, that'll work just fine. And you'll thread that through the bottom. Might have to pull that apart through all the pages. Hi. This is a little tricky. If I had a, a little stiffer string, this would be easier. And then through the cover. And we've got to go to the other side here. Yeah, I had lots of ideas for these. I thought it would be fun to do one with um, for gardening. You could do one for your pets and put pictures in them. You could do an art journal and just do your, use it for sketching.
Now this takes a little time here to get this all threaded. But there we go. And I'll pull this tight. Hi, I have a little friend here. What's your name? Reed. Reed? Nice to meet you, Reed. Reed is watching me do my craft. <laughs> he has on a sailor suit. <laughs> I'm making a book, Reed. A book? Yes, a little book. There we go. When we're finished, you can help me show this to everyone, okay? Thank you. All right, and there you have it, a nice little journal. Is your mom here? All right, everyone, I've got my two journals finished. Here's the one that I, uh, I just did for you with a music theme. And here is the other one that I had prepared in advance with the travel theme. So I hope you like this idea. They're really fun to make and you can uh, just gather a lot of materials you'll probably find around your house to do this. And I thank you again for being with me. I will see you in a couple of weeks. I also wanted to let you know if you are a, um, a young person or have a young person that's eight years of age up to 15, 16, we're starting a new program. It's called Art Attack and I'll be teaching um, some different a little more, I'm going to say, um, in-depth projects. We'll do some sculpture, we'll do some painting, we'll learn about some different artists. So you'd need to sign up for that. Space is limited and it's actually filling up quick. So if you have someone that would be interested, just um, give us a call or stop in. All right. Keep track of us on Facebook and our Instagram channel and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. How was that? <laughs>